Welcome back. Today's video is going to be my one year makeup a low buy finale. I am so excited. I am so glad that I did a low buy this year. My low buy, I will leave the intro video in the description box because I had some specific rules. It was all about the amount of products that I could buy. It wasn't really a budget. And for certain categories, I was allowed to buy a certain number of items. And then for complexion products, I was allowed to own up to a certain amount in my collection. So for example, foundation, I said I could have up to eight at a time. So I'm gonna kind of give you some thoughts, give you some numbers about how I did, how I feel about it. I do plan on introducing a new low buy probably in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that. I realize that for some people this may not even be considered a low buy, but I'm just comparing myself to myself and in the last few years, I bought a lot more makeup than I did this year. So I'm very happy with that because it allowed me to enjoy the products that I already have. So yeah, I think you get it, let's get started. All right, so let me give you some numbers here. So total for the year, I bought 52 makeup products. And out of those, I said that I was allowed to buy eight eyeshadow palettes and two face palettes, but I ended up buying one face palette. And since I didn't buy two, I said that I could move the one face palette purchase to eyeshadow palettes. So I ended up buying nine eyeshadow palettes. I said that I could have, or that I could buy nine cheek products for the year. So that's either blush, bronzer, or highlighter, total nine, and I did buy nine. I didn't buy any highlighters. I bought two cream bronzers, and then the other seven were blushes. So I didn't buy any highlighter. That's exciting because I'm into more of a subtle glow these days, and yeah, don't need any. Uh, lip products, this one is exciting because I said I could buy five lip products for the whole year. So that could be either lip liner, gloss, lipstick, whatever, five total. And I only bought three. I'm excited about that one. That one makes me happy. Mascara was just replacements, I bought three. Um, brow products, again, that was more just replacements. I ended up buying six because I did want to try some new things this year. I was a little unhappy with my brows. so. I did buy the e.l.f. Brow Lift. That is actually the only thing I bought in December. I bought the e.l.f. Brow Lift and I do like that. And then I bought two brow pens, one from Milani, one from NYX, and I'm like in love with brow pens now. And then the others were replacement brow gels because I do use a tinted brow gel every day and I ran out. So some of those were replacements. So I experimented a little bit with brow products, but I'm actually okay with that. And I did recently post a makeup inventory video, so I will link that if you didn't see that. That is talking about how much makeup I own total in my collection. Um, so I bought one under eye powder, which was that was just a replacement of my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. It's the only one that I use. Foundations, so I bought six for the year. And I said that I could have up to eight at a time. And I do currently have nine. So I am over on this. And something I did not mention was PR. I did get some makeup in PR this year. Um, so obviously getting some makeup in PR kind of helps my urge to shop a little bit. I don't get a lot though, and I don't get it every month. I would say I get some PR maybe every other month or every third month. So, Again, something to keep in mind, but I did say that I am allowed to receive PR, but I only accept PR from brands I actually really wanna try. Um, so I am a little bit picky with that actually. So yeah, I did not get makeup and PR every month, maybe about every other month. Setting spray, I said I could own up to four at a time. So I did buy three this year and I currently only have two because I go through setting spray very regularly and yeah, I finished up the other ones that I had. So I'm totally okay with this category because yeah, I go through those pretty regularly. Face primer, I bought three. I think I could, I think I said I could own up to five face primers at a time. And currently I only have three. So, I mean, I could have bought more face primer this year, but I just didn't really feel the need to. Um, I think I got one primer in PR and I bought one from Rare Beauty, Believe Beauty, and Flower Beauty. Anyway, I recently posted an inventory if you wanna see that. And I like all the ones that I bought, so three really is not bad. And that's all that I have in my collection right now because I did use up the other face primers that I owned.
eyeliner. I only bought one eyeliner for this. I said replacements only and I finished up my liquid eyeliner about six months ago and I bought a replacement and I pretty much stopped doing winged liner a few months ago. I don't know. And now I don't really want to. I feel like my eyeshadow looks better without winged liner just because I don't have a lot of lid space. So I've just been trying to work on when I clean up the edge of my eyeshadow that I just clean it in a very straight line and then I don't do winged liner. And I actually like this a lot better. So like I said, I did replace the liquid liner I had that ran out, but I kind of stopped using it and I actually prefer the way my makeup looks. So I'm gonna keep that one, but it's fine. <laughs> um, okay, face powder, I did buy three. And this is another one I did go over a little bit. So I said I could own up to 10 powders at a time and I do currently have 11, but the reason I went over was because I really wanted to try two from the drugstore, the one from Boots and the e.l.f. Halo Glow. So I was like, whatever, I'll be one over. It's not that bad, especially considering I was under on some of these other categories. Um, concealer, I said I could own up to eight at a time and currently I have seven and I bought only two concealers this whole year and I used up a lot. Not bad, not bad, pretty happy with that. Um, and then single shadows in a pot. I said that I could buy two and I did buy two. Um, one of them I already decluttered. It was from Believe Beauty. I just talked about it in my worst makeup video and it just creased terribly. So that one was a disappointment, but then I bought a Mac paint pot. And so that counted for this category and I like that one. So that's fine. And then the last category was face palettes. Like I said, I initially said I could buy two face palettes for the whole year but I only bought one, so I moved one of those palette purchases to eyeshadow palettes. So I bought nine eyeshadow palettes instead of eight. And yeah, so 52 products total. I spent $955 for the whole year. So like I said, this wasn't a budget, but I just kept track of it. I was just curious to see. And that may sound like a lot, but when I compare how much I spent, particularly last year, I spent probably two and a half times this much. So for me, this was a big decrease. And so eight of these products were purely just like replacements. Like I said, I ran out of eyeliner. I bought another one. I ran out of mascara. I bought a couple mascaras. So eight of these were purely like I was out. I actually needed to replace the product. So 44 of these were more like fun products, things I didn't need, like the blush, the lip products, the eyeshadow palettes, the face palette. I obviously didn't need those, but you know, I think this was a good balance for me. So $955 total is what I spent for the whole year. So that averages to $79.58 per month on makeup. I actually don't think that's bad. And like I said, 2020, I bought quite a bit of makeup. I was averaging spending anywhere between $150 and $300 a month last year on makeup. So this is way less, big decrease. I'm actually really happy with this. I think for me, this is better than a pure no buy because I do enjoy trying new products. Makeup is my hobby. Even if I didn't have a YouTube channel or an Instagram, I would still try out new products because it's just fun for me. It's something I enjoy doing. So I think this is a good balance of, I got to try some new products, things that I hadn't tried before. I got to try some brands that I hadn't tried from before, but I wasn't buying so much. They couldn't even use the makeup that I had already or even test out the products thoroughly because even based on how much I bought now, I feel like there are some products in my collection that I didn't get to use as much as I would want. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's like a few of the eyeshadow palettes this year that I bought. I've only used like five or six times. So even this really is definitely, obviously it's more than anyone needs, but even though this is way less than I have bought in the past, there are still some things that I didn't even get to use as much as I wish I had. So like I said, I went a little bit over on powder and foundation, but the rest of the categories I did really well and I was even under on lip products. I only bought three for the whole year, which is so exciting. And according to my numbers, I could have bought more concealers and um, what was the other one? Oh, setting spray. I could have bought more setting spray if I want to, but 
Setting spray for me is not that exciting. It's something I use every day, but I'm not like wowed and excited by it like I am with blush and eyeshadow, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I personally, I am really happy with this. I think that this was a good way for me to do it. And like I said, I will be introducing a new low buy. It's gonna be a little less strict than this year. Not that this year was honestly that strict. It really wasn't. Um, I felt like for me, this is a good balance, getting to try out some new products, but still enjoying what I already own. So I'm really, really excited. And honestly, for me, the categories that I just crave the most are definitely eyeshadow palettes. I honestly, if I just let myself buy whatever, I would probably buy like 10 eyeshadow palettes a month because it's just my favorite category of makeup. I love trying new brands, formulas, color stories. I love neutral eyeshadow. I love colorful eyeshadow. Today I'm wearing a more colorful look, but I just kind of love it all when it comes to eyeshadow and it's just, I crave it. So the fact that I only bought nine palettes for the year for me is a big decrease because so something I still plan on doing, by the way, I am still planning on doing a video where I rank all of the eyeshadow palettes that I tried this year. I have done that video for the last two years on my channel. And if you saw last year's video, I'll link it in the description box. There were over 50 palettes in that video. That's how many I bought. So now I did get some palettes in PR this year, and then I did get a couple um, as gifts. Like my sister bought me an eyeshadow palette for Christmas and my husband bought me an eyeshadow palette for Christmas. And I said that PR and gifts would not count for eyeshadow palettes. So I did get more than nine for the year. I think I got, I think a total of 15, but 15 versus 50 something. <laughs> that is a big difference. It really, really is. So yeah, I'm still planning that video but not, probably not for a few more weeks. So that is it. I am happy with how I did. I think this worked out very well for me. It worked for kind of my taste and preferences. And just, I, I love makeup. It's just fun for me. So I still wanna try new products. And I am gonna start a new type of low buy that I will still be introducing. Like I said, it's gonna be a little less strict than this, um, but kind of a similar type thing, not exactly, but Stay tuned for that. Let us know, did you do a low buy? Did you do a no buy this year? I'm so impressed with people that do full on no buys. I really, really am. I just personally, I know if I tried to do it, I wouldn't enjoy it. And I, like I said, I enjoy trying new makeup. So for me, I just don't think a no buy is the right thing to do, but I'm so impressed with people that do no buys. Seriously, it's amazing. Um, there's a lot of people that I watch that have been doing no buys for like one year, two years, three years, and that's amazing. So yes, for sure. That is it for this video. Let us know how you did. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.